Hi, I'm John Ballou. Welcome back to the edit room. Today we're going to be looking at using Final Cut Pro without using your hands. And just to give you an idea of what we're doing here, I'm going to open up the dictation by hitting the FN key twice, which is the function key. So I'll just hit that twice and you'll see the dictation opens up. And right now it's listening to what I'm saying. You can tell it's listening by the little microphone meter that's happening. So I'm going to give a couple commands and um, right now I have the QuickTime player selected. I want to make sure I'm inside of Funnel Cut. So now I have Funnel Cut selected. And I'm going to do a couple edits just to show you what uh, we're going to set up and then I'll show you how to set it up. So uh, the first thing I want to do is select browser. Next clip, play. Play, set endpoint, play, set out point, append, play, so I'm saying play twice because it's the same command, which is the space bar. Select timeline, previous clip, select clip, delete clip, previous clip, uh, go to beginning, or go to home, select clip, delete clip, next clip, next clip, Remove effects, next clip, default effect. Uh-huh, how about that? Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, select viewer, select viewer, zoom to fit, remove effects. Not bad, huh? I'm going to turn off the function key. Okay, now the way that you set this up is you go into your system preferences under the black apple. In this case, it's a white apple. <laughs> uh, system preferences. And the first thing you're going to do is go under here to keyboard. And keyboard is where they moved dictation. So under dictation, you want to make sure it's on and that you're using enhanced dictation. These two things have to be on before the next step which is under accessibility. So I'll go to accessibility and I'll scroll down to dictation. And these are the dictation commands. So you can create your own commands. These are the user-based commands and there's a ton of other commands in here. Things that deal with editing, uh, Word documents, you know, text documents, formatting, all kinds of stuff to learn that you could use your voice for. But these user commands are ones that I created myself. So I created it by clicking the plus sign. And let's say that I want to play full screen. So I want to say play full screen. And while using, I want to make sure that it's Final Cut Pro. And you could either choose a select menu item, which is um, the better choice. If there's a menu item, make sure that you do exactly how it says in the menu item. So what you say does not have to be what it's performing, but what it's performing has to be what's in your menu item, which means it has to be um, capitalized if it is capitalized. If something's not capitalized and you capitalize it, it won't work. Um, furthermore, if you click this, you could also do a keyboard shortcut if you have that uh, menu item assigned to a keyboard shortcut. So I'm just going to say perform select play full screen and I'll hit done. And let me close this. And so now I'll uh, open up the dictation by hitting the function key twice again. And there it is. And I'll say play full screen. 
and of course it doesn't work. Play full screen. Hmm. Select viewer. Play full screen. Hmm. Nope. Didn't work. So I'm glad that it didn't work because this is what happens. So let's see. Maybe I got something wrong here. Uh, under view, playback, play full screen. So I wonder why it didn't work. So let me close the dictation here by hitting the FN key with function key again. And I'll go back to system preferences, back to accessibility. And I'll scroll down to I'll find dictation, open up the dictation commands, and I'll find my play full screen. Oh, look at that. I have two of them here. So that, that's probably why I have a problem. So I'll just select one and then hit the minus key to delete it, and I'll hit delete. So now play full screen should be exactly as it is. Maybe, um, maybe I'll even change the punctuation here, and let's just see if that helps us. So I'll hit done and close this. Open up the dictation window again. Play full screen. Crazy, right? Oh, there we go. Um, for us, we actually were just really, really. Okay, I'm gonna escape out we of that. Play. We just really relied on each other. Play. Counted on each other. So you also have to be careful of. Right now, I have my speakers. I'm not wearing headphones, so the microphone is hard to hear my voice when um, I'm playing through speakers, so just be cognizant of that. I have multiple machines, of course, and all of my hard work, let me go back into the uh, system preferences here, um, back into accessibility, you'll notice that I took, you know, a good amount of time creating all of these um, user dictation commands. Uh, oh, also make sure enable advanced commands is checked as well. And that's, that's how you get the user and you'll be able to create your own custom ones. So let me hit done. Um, so I didn't want to do this all over again for another machine. So if you go into your user library, your user, you know, in the finder, go to user library preferences, there will be a file named speech recognition, apple speech recognition dot custom commands dot plist. Uh, this is what you'll copy and then paste in the exact same location on your other machine. Uh, what I would recommend though is to back up the file on the other machine before you start just in case. It's always a good idea to have a backup of that plist. You could either copy it to the desktop or you know zip it or what have you. So that wraps up this lesson. If you want to learn more, visit johnballoo.com. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the edit room. <music>